Hey everybody, this is going to be a very, very short video on proportional relationships and how to identify a proportional relationship given data. Okay, this data could be in the form of a table, a graph, an equation, um, a set of order pairs. It doesn't matter how you're given the data. There's a couple of things that that data must have in order to be a proportional relationship. The first thing is there must be a constant ratio of the values B to A. So if you compare the value B to the ratio of value A, it's going to be the same each time. The second thing is there must be a constant rate of change. So the change in B divided by the change in A must be the same each time. In other words, it must have a consistent slope. It must go through the origin of graph. And so if we examine that more closely, it means the graph, it must go through the point zero, zero. It must include the point zero, zero. And it must be a straight line. And no addition or subtraction can happen if you are given an equation. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at a couple examples based on these five criteria and we're going to see is it a proportion or is it not a proportional relationship. So our objective here is to identify proportional relations from a table an equation and a graph. So we're going to start here with a table. All right, the first thing we check is does it go to the point zero zero it does so that's the first thing we look for. All right, the next thing we're going to look for is does it have a constant ratio? So we have a constant ratio and a constant rate of change. So we'll do the constant rate of change first. Okay, so from zero to negative six, I'm decreasing by six. From negative six to negative nine, I'm decreasing by three. And from negative nine to 12, I'm decreasing by four. All right, so that's my change in y. And my change in x is positive one, positive one, positive one. So if I look at my rate of change, my rate of change is negative six over one, which is negative six. Then negative three divided by one, which is negative three, and negative four divided by one, which is negative four. So this does not have a constant rate of change. The change in y over the change in x is not the same. And then we can also check that the ratio of y to x, so 6 over 1, negative 9 over 2, and negative 12 over 3, do not simplify to the same thing. So this is not a proportional relationship. So this relationship is not proportional. So it goes to the origin, but it's not proportional. All right, example two, we check first it goes through 0, 0. That is great. Next, what we need to do is we need to check where does it have a constant rate of change. So I'm going to erase this over here so I have some space. And let's talk. So constant rate of change we know is our change in y divided by change in x. And we can do this little delta symbol means change. So delta y divided by delta x is change in y over change in x. So our y's are changing by plus 10, plus 10, plus 10. Our x's are changing by plus 1, plus 1 plus one. So our change in y to our change in x is 10 over one, 10 over one, and 10 over one. Those are all going to simplify to 10. So we have a constant rate of change. So we have a constant rate of change. We have, it goes through the point zero, zero. Now we just need to see the ratio of y to x. So we have 10 divided by one, which is 10, 20 divided by two, which is also 10, and 30 divided by three, which is simplifies to 10. So all of my ratios simplify to 10. So I have a constant rate of change, a constant ratio, and I go through the origin. This is a proportional relationship. This is a proportional relationship, which means that all that basically means is that it's, it's changing at a consistent rate and it started at zero, zero. All right, example three. Example three, it goes through the point zero, zero. So I can check that off. Now I need to look for a constant rate of change. So we're looking for change in y divided by change in x. So we go plus 1, plus 1, plus 1, plus 4, plus 4, plus 4. So all of our rates of change are 1 fourth. So we have a constant rate of change. It's changing by 1 fourth. Next, we need to look and see do we have a constant ratio. So we don't compare 0, 0, because obviously that's going to be 0. But we start with 1. So y to x is 1 fourth. y to x, again, is 2 eighths, which we know 2 eighths simplifies to 1 fourth. And then we have 3 twelfths, which we also know simplifies to 1 fourth. So all of these simplify to 1 fourth. 
And so they have a constant rate of change, a constant ratio, and it starts at zero, zero. This relationship is also proportional. All right, this is the most work you're gonna have to do. These other ones are super duper easy. If it is an equation, all you need to look and see is, is there addition or subtraction? So number four is y equals x. There's no addition or subtraction. This is proportional. The problem. All right, number five, y equals 3x plus 1. 3x plus 1 means this does not go through the origin. It starts up 1, so this is not proportional. 6 is y equals negative 1 half x. So we have a slope of negative 1 half, but no y-intercept. The y-intercept goes through 0, 0, so this is proportional. And the graphs are even easier. The graphs we're looking for two things. Is it a straight line and does it go through the origin? So number seven is a straight line, but it does not go through the origin. So it is not proportional. So we would say not proportional. All right, number eight goes through the origin, but it is not a straight line. So this is also not proportional. All right, and then number nine, it goes through the origin and it is a straight line, so this is proportional. So this means it has a constant rate of change. X and Y are increasing at a, or as Y, as Y increases, X increases at a constant rate and it starts at zero, zero. So this is just a crash course on proportional relationships, identifying proportional relationships. Remember, we're looking for, does it go through the origin, zero, zero? Does it have a, constant ratio of y to x? Does it have a constant rate of change of change in y over change in x? If it is an equation, does it have addition or subtraction? Okay, and if it's a graph, is it a straight line that goes through the origin? I hope this information helps and um, that you guys will do well on proportional relationships. Good luck.